Now, before I start this video, can somebody tell me what's wrong with this picture? I'll give it a second. You're right, he's not in a freaking bikini! Where's my bikini Lucio? Okay, not really a bikini, but trousers, you know. Where's my summary Lucio at, bro? Hold up. How we get all, we got seven units, and not one of them is Lucio? They're gonna tease us with this event. Mayday's Mayday! And, oh, got the cool Lucio coming out, trolling, and we can't even, and he trolled us at the very end by not appearing in the gotcha. Oh my god, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Had a rant. But, uh, yeah. We'll be looking at Lucio now, the biggest troll. Now, I know people may be thinking, what did they change to Lucio? One, his boost to light attack. It's not changed. Why is this not AoE? Nani? What is what are you doing, Saeems? It's 2019. Can we get some AoE buffs? Who boosts to a light attack? Who does that still in 20? What is this? Dark Angel Olivia? Right? I think Dark, Dark Angel Olivia does that, right? <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Let me just, you know, fact check. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> this is important. I will make sure I'm right. Dark Angel Olivia. Where's, where's Dark Angel Olivia, bro? We, we got a test. I, I know this is not part of the video, but you know, I got a test. Dark Attack, right? Yeah, look at this garbage character. Gosh, she's so cute, though. But look at this garbage character. That's 20, what, 17? Come on, side game. Give us what we want. AOE buff. AOE buff. AOE buff. So, that's one thing I, I you know, I don't know what they, did they just forget that, you know? Ah, <sighs> that's unfortunate. So his Ogi does not, Paradise Lost does not see any chains, unfortunately. But what did change, his skill one, amazing. Shield, revitalize, strength, three turn buff, six turn cooldown. That might remind you of another character, starts with an F. Fun Fun! Now, Fun Fun doesn't give re uh, shield. So in theory, the skill one is actually better at full health. So... We may have a contender to replace Fun Fun. The only thing holding this skill back, it's big. It's not green. Does not work with how long Katana. That's a big, big, big problem. So I don't know if he's good enough to replace her in content where like, you don't have to worry about, let's say, uh, debuffs. But he he's a strong contender. Because he does have that strength buff, a lot of attack boost, so very good. To be honest, he probably would be overpowered if he had the boost to light attack to all allies and strength. But you know, it's a GBF, right? Don't we like overpowered characters? Come on now, everybody loves Zoe, right? Nobody's tired of Zoe, right? Yeah, Zoe's overpowered, guys. People like she's a twenty. She's overpowered still. Twenty nineteen, and people still rocking Zoe. Clearly, the characters. It's unfair, <laughs> clearly. Out of the acid, get a new ability. He gains one wings of justice. Cause you know, Lucio gains wings, you know, cause why not? Popeye something. Um, this, I don't know if they changed the skill cap damage increase. Let me check. I don't believe they changed it. I believe all they did was give him the buff. I believe his passive increased damage cap, so. That's pretty big, maybe. I don't, we'll see when we get into the fight. So I'm not too sure about this one right here. Now his skill three gets no change either. Okay, so they increased the TA on his skill three. I think it's now a guaranteed TA. Yeah, deal triple attack. So it's a guaranteed TA and he gets 100% dark damage cut. I believe it used to be 70. Hey, yo, he gets 100% so he'll take damage for two turns? That's pretty good. Um, if only he had a way to like increase his, his aggro, though I guess you can use Tormentor skill to give him 100% aggro, aggro. So, hmm, that's actually pretty good. 100% dark damage cut. Hmm, that's not bad. But I, I, just, I have a hard time Theorizing where would I want to use that, right? You may think Skyfall, right? Skyfall's a good example. But what about the other three units? They're dead. 
<laughs> so it's like I'm having a hard time picturing in what content would this really benefit, right? It sounds good on paper, but I just can't really think about any content where it really matters right now. The only thing I can think about, right, is the hypothetical situation. Far high level, he has the most attack on your team, the you go up to 95, and it's a dark hit. It'll work there. <laughs> Outside of that, though, I can't really think of any really good situations um, where the skill three benefits, but you guys could probably tell me in the comments. I am overworking in terms of getting these videos out, so I may forget something. Forgive me. I'm trying my best. So we have Morningstar. I believe Morningstar does get a change. Now it's bo bonus damage, bonus light damage to Lucio and reduced reduction to his dark defense based on turns that passed. I think it capped out at turn 10%. I don't know, but we'll see. I, I'm going to have to take on a boss that has a lot of health so we can really get the numbers on that. I'll probably take on like Dark Angel Olivia high level. I think that'd be good enough. Wings of Justice is his new... Uh, another change as well. He gains a wings per triple attack and per his skill too, which is pretty cool. Capped at six, and he doesn't lose any stacks either. So keep in mind that he gets guaranteed triple attack with his skill three. So would that be one, on turn one? He gets one from this, one from triple attack. So he'll have what two there, then another one from triple attacking again. Keep in mind that out of ashes do apply twice if he ogies. So then I'll give him another two. So it's not that bad. Um, we'll have to see though. And he still have the same ability to give HP up on charge attack. But let's go test. So we'll take on Fallen Angel high level. I mean Dark Angel Olivia. I can't believe it's called it Fallen Angel. Um, with that Celeste, right? Maybe, no, I, I think, yeah, I'm taking on uh, Dark Angel Olivia because I believe it had more health and more defense. Celeste probably get exploded too quickly, so. We want to get to turn 10 so we can really see what damage he can do with Kumbera, Howl, and Mal, and everything stacked up. The one problem going to be here with this team comp is that I won't be able to have maximum healing. Wait, oh, you know what? You, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I have blue pot. <laughs> How could I forget blue pot? Where's blue pot? Blue pot. Oh, blue pot. Yes, blue pot. <laughs> yeah, that's, I've nicknamed this character blue pot because that's all he's good for. <laughs> so we, now we have an extra uh, extra pot. Um, now, what we're gonna do about the fence down here? Unfortunately, with this comp right now, we do not cap the fence down. So we can probably change something out here. Uh, uh, so this is where it becomes kind of hard. I think I'm just made to bring Breach. I, I only re realized it right now with the team I'm running right here that I can't really cap the way I want to. So we'll just bring Breach to the clarity. I don't remember the boss had any annoying debuffs. It's been a while since I fought it, so. And nine times out of 10, I use fun fun. So we may get blown up. Hopefully not though. We'll see. With that, let's get started. We have what? Two pots, right? Two blue pots? We should be fine. Uh, okay. We'll start off with the shield effect. Go with this. I'm actually gonna save that in case we need a heal. Use this. Pray I don't miss debuffs. Wait, why did I bring? Why I play this class? I thought they played Dark Fencer, right? Oh, you, you can see that the shield is actually weaker than the shield that we get from um, than Zeus. So I'm guessing it's about a 1k shield. I should have used it first, honestly. My fault on that. I'll look at it again. It had the six turn cooldown, so we should be able to take another look at it in a minute. Let's go here. Get that guarantee triple. Oh, wow. Well, it's one of my videos where I just don't hit debuffs. Guess I don't need them though, but you know. I'd have been nice to have hit some debuffs, you know. It's just, just saying, you know. It would have been nice if you 
Like, we doing pretty good damage without debuffs though, but you know, it would have been nice if we hit some um, couple maybe. Wow, I really, miss, I really missed every debuff. Oh, I hit two. We hit breach and we hit uh, defense down. Oh, I missed. So we just have no attack now. We're not capping defense down. Keep that in mind. That breach and missed is only 45. With Kumbera, we'll be able to hit uh, the 50. So we have three stacks now. I haven't really been able to see the bonus damage because, you know, with this team comp, you do get a, quite a bit of bonus damage from Hell and Mal. So it's really hard to see it. We should be able to see it after this Ogi, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm a little bit scared here because we're going to take, I believe, about 25% of white damage. Yeah. Oh, charge bar lower. Okay, that's not that bad, though. Okay, so let's check here. Assume with bonus damage he gets. I can't see it. <laughs> Why do I keep bringing these bonus damage comps? They don't work. <laughs> I don't learn my lesson, dude. This is crazy. Okay, so we have to break it before it ogies again or I'm going to die. <laughs> can we break it, though? I think we can. I think we can. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, no! <laughs> We got the blue pot. <laughs> blue pot! Back in action. <laughs> so we we actually haven't taken no no, we have taken damage on Kumbera, so we can see what his shield does right now. His shield is a 2k shield. That's like not that bad. That's actually really good. 2k shield? That's 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 not bad at all. I would have expected a lot less from that. Also, we're about to get a ton of bonus damage. So we can see the full impact of his combo. Let's get, let's get it. Give me that. Oh, the numbers. I can't see nothing. I, I'm trying, guys. I can't. <laughs> I can't see nothing. I tried. It just numbers to me. Uh, we can use the shield, I guess. Why not? It doesn't hurt, right? Okay, more pretty numbers coming out. Mm, mm, mm. It kind of feels bad, no Metatron. Ooh, look at those numbers. I really wish I could tell you how much damage. Oh, wait, hold up. He gets hit. Oh, come on. I mean, uh, I will admit that Kumbera has aggro up there. But come on. <laughs> I was hoping for the one situation where, like, you know, his 100% damage cut worked. <laughs> it, 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 it didn't happen there, though, unfortunately. Oh, well. Can we maybe just see it? Wait, I think I've seen 700k. Is that right? Was that 70k or 700k? Hmm. I really couldn't see it too well. But if that was 700k, that's, that's, that's absurd. Okay, I think after this Ogi, we, we should be able to get a visual look at how much bonus damage he gains. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually not going to Ogi so we can get a look at it here. 200k. 260k. It's been about... Whoo, don't do that. <laughs> so it's been a couple of turns now. I believe we're on turn 10, I believe. So I think, it, I think he capped out. We'll look again though to make sure. Okay, never mind. Can't see nothing. Hmm. Oh yeah, we definitely have turn 12 right now. So he is capped out, I believe. Uh, we're gonna use Shiva here. Wait, hold up. Do we have multi enough multi-attack to Shiva win? Nah. Do I wait? Do I yellow? Eh. Yellow, right? There ain't no time like now. <laughs> in my opinion. I believe in my team triple attack all the time. Let's go, baby. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I can't count because Kumbera did a double attack. God darn it, Kumbera. Yo, you did. 
Who thought it was a good idea to give this boss all this white damage? If you didn't know, white damage is based on your actual health bar. So what Dark Angel Olivia does is that depending on how much health she has, she could do either 50% white damage to your team, like she did right there, or 25. 25 is generally at the beginning of the fight, and near the end of the fight, it ends up being uh, 50. It's kind of annoying with stamina builds, because, you know, this, this is like the biggest... <gasps> That. Yo, what's he did? Is he debuffed? Oh no, okay. Yo, Blue Pot! Blue Pot come through! <laughs> I actually never used the Halloween one. This is Lucio's showcase, right? He's the only one who really matters. Oh wait, hold on. Bloop! Green Pot! <laughs> Yo, see, it's. I actually want to do a more runs with Charlotte. She's actually really cool. A lot of um Fa high level solos run her. For the, the, the extra green plot. So, whenever I do fire high level solo, I'll try it. Her there is not that bad either. Cool, cool. So, it looks to be about. What was that? I believe we did 860k autos and then the bonus damage with 260, right? I think. So, what's that? About 20 ish? Percent, right? Um, less than twenty, my fault, right? No, more than twenty, twenty-five, right? No, less than twenty-five too. I can't do math right now, on top of my head. I'm sorry, gotta understand. I'm gonna struggle right now, okay? You guys can do the math, you, you hit numbers and stuff like that, but it's, it's about what, thirty maybe ish, right? Thirty ish. So, uh, it's not that bad actually. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. On to the next character. I'm dying here, guys. <laughs> Be right back.